Steve Disney on ice at the XL Center tonight. As Blima gets UConn off to a good start. And they worked on that pick and roll play today in walkthrough. Early, they got out to a 10-0 lead on Central Florida in part because of that pressure. But this is Shiz Alston knocking down a triple. He's made a big difference this year. Because Alston wants another three. This one won't go. A flat beat the offensive board. Blocked by Blima. And then, and then, and then Gioni is also blocked by Blima. What averages three blocks per game. Well, you see the leading shot blocker in the American Conference. In block shots. And we are tied at eight here in the first half. Purvis, another three, and this one is good. Well, they're one of the best shot blocking teams in the country. As a matter of fact, year in and year out, they are. Adams hits the triple. But when he does that, that's going to open it up for maybe a couple of more jumpers for him. And a steal. Here comes Mark Williams. The flush and seven straight points for Temple. Rick Brunson. Grima down low and the flush. Rose left-handed swatted by Brima. Block number four for the senior. 42 this year. So he's shooting a lot more of them this season. Oh. And Brima continues to have a block party at Campo Pavilion. That's his fifth. Amita Brima back on the floor for UConn. Enoch to the bench. Adams the lob. The finish from Facey. Shoot, Alani Moore had it knocked away. Play on. Purvis, look out! Two seconds. Dingle at the horn. Yes! Daniel Dingle hits a three as time expires. And it's an 11 point UConn lead at intermission. Boy, they really need that. And that was a good closeout on top of it, but he made a tough shot at the end of the half. A in the second, our Wednesday showcase on CBS Sports Network. And UConn picking up right where they left off in the first. If you're in the game and you got it, you're open, shoot the ball. A flat P throws it down over Brima. Bench, because that's the one thing that nobody wants to do. Good shot by Daniel Dingle there. Here's Dingle. Drives right in, blocked by Facey. Kenton Facey getting the job done tonight for UConn. Adams feeds Enoch. Double team. Enoch puts it up. No call. Facey gets it back, and a new career high for Kenton Facey. He's got 21 points. Jackson down low, up fake, reverse lay-in. Yes, pretty from the freshman Jackson. That's what you call footwork right there. Running out on the Owls. Yeah, not something they do very often at all. Adams to Brima! I would say that's how you attack pressure. The one thing you need to do when you get pressed is to tack, and that was about as picture-perfect an attack as you're going to see. And Jalen Adams, as a flak P lays it in, Adams just tied his career high with 11 assists. He also had 11 against Chaminade in the Maui Invitational in November. And two turnovers. Tremendous floor game from Jalen Adams tonight. Still needs a point for a double-double. Basie needs a rebound for a double-double. Inside four minutes to go. Five to shoot. Adams for a double-double. And the long rebound out to a flak P. Austin calls for a screen. Temple needs instant offense here. Austin, tough shot, it goes. And UConn likes to switch all those screens. Amita Bryman was on Alston for part of that play. That's a big reason why he was able to drive it on. Alston's got 10. He's now been in double figures in eight of his last nine games. But the lead is 12 with 3.20 to go. Temple only has one timeout remaining. And we mentioned before, UConn with just one foul in this half. So Temple's going to have to foul. And there's a timeout with 3.06 to go. Well, if you're looking to break a press, this is a picture-perfect way to do it. Neal's gotten any sleep since then? I thought they made seven threes in the last minute and a half. Facey and the foul, and that should wrap it up at Campbell Pavilion. What 
a feed Adams to Vital. The cherry on top. Horn sounds and UConn finishes off a 73 to 59 win over Temple.